can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. They aren't coming back, are they? Nope. Nah. <laughs> Luke and Becca here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and we are going on a spear fishing date in the Florida Keys. What? This is our first time ever leaving the kids to go out of town, and we're also celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary. We're older than we look. <laughs> so me and Becca are headed to the Isle of Mirada, and we are gonna spend two days, count them, two days, spear fishing and catching and cooking and it's gonna be magical. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's a Sunny's barbecue. Oh, oh. Sweet corn fritters. Oh. Oh, I think this is the right house. Oh, this looks nice. This is not the couch for kids, but it looks very nice. Oh, I was gonna say white. The kids will ruin it. They're not here. It's a little bit late and we've got an exciting day tomorrow. So I'm going to put the camera down and I will see you in the morning. Oh, what a lovely day today. All right, Becky, you ready to go scuba diving? <laughs> I'm ready. Guys, we're back here at Isla Mirada with Forever Young Spearfishing. If you guys remember last spring, we took the whole family spearfishing for invasive lionfish here, and we had so much fun. We do so many charters, and this was hands down one of the favorite we have done in years. So we're back here, and we're gonna spend two days spearfishing, scuba diving. Becca's certified with scuba, so she's gonna be scuba diving. I'm gonna be free diving. I can't tell you how excited I am for this. Oh, look at this, guys. It is a beautiful day. <laughs> Poke your head under structure. Well, guys, we just did a short little jog out of the harbor, and uh, we're getting ready to get in the water. I'm so excited. Look at how clear that water is. All right, guys, I learned a valuable lesson last time we came down here. I am not getting sunburned this time. Look at Shark Babe. So we're gonna take it easy this first dive. We're going somewhere shallow in a beautiful nature preserve. So no spear fishing, just beautiful, beautiful scenery here.
amazing, but I'm ready to poke some fish. <laughs> it's got all sorts of stuff coming out. Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of gear to compensate for my lack of skill. <laughs> First spot we went spear fishing. Tony dove down to go check something out, and he comes up, makes a sign for shark, and points over to like a seven foot bull shark, just chilling. But Tony and the shark seemed pretty chill about it, so I just dove down on these coral heads, and pretty soon I found myself a spiny lobster. And I had a devil of a time wrestling that thing out of there. But this was my very first spiny lobster ever. It was really fun. I was also pretty happy because this was 35 feet of water and last time I dove with Tony, diving 35 feet was a real struggle for me and this time it was pretty comfortable so I, I really felt like I was making some improvements. Not too much after that we found a couple invasive lionfish sitting on these little coral heads. Lionfish are an invasive species here in the Keys and they're also extremely tasty so I was very happy to get this. That's what I call a sucker punch. He was looking right at you. <laughs> that is a big boy. Now this same coral head also had a spiny lobster hiding deep inside it. Well, that didn't work too well, so we went and got a tickle stick and a net to try to get that lobster out of the hole, and this little stingray ended up swimming right in my face and scared the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> After failing more times than I like to admit, I had Tony go down there and he got that lobster right out of there. Well, guys, that was awesome. We got two lionfish and two lobsters. I mean, Becca, we're eating good tonight. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna go try another spot. Let's do it. Best anniversary ever. Good, I love you. I love you. Mwah. All right guys, we're here at a new spot and we're dropping a little bit of chum. So uh, we got this thing that looks like a stinky loaf of bread just sitting in the bag. And, uh, <laughs> and we're gonna see if the fish like our fish loaf. Apparently, uh, we're also putting out a large life insurance policy on me and rubbing me in tuna oil. It was Becca's idea. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Tony's chum worked like a charm and pretty soon we had thousands of fish coming up right in our face. But I'm not really good with my fish identification, so it took a little bit of time for Tony to teach me what to aim for. Then I started missing. A lot. Repeatedly over and over again oh it was painful but tony is an absolute professional and he found a fish i couldn't miss this is actually a really big lionfish and it was in about 44 45 feet of water so i was actually really happy to spear this thing and it helped shake some of the bad mojo off that's a proper lionfish we saw a lot of mangrove snappers down there so i dove back down to about 40 feet ran into a bull shark and that distracted me so much I forgot to miss. So uh, I, actually got a, I actually got a fish. But that whole time I was just thinking that shark's gonna come after that fish. So I got it up as quick as I could. That bull shark gave me pause. He swam right in front of me. A few successes helped me relax and I started making shots. I ended up landing this yelltail snapper and uh, they got my pole spear out and managed to get a mangrove snapper as well. We got a massive lionfish, a good sized yellowtail and some mangrove snappers and I did it with the bull shark swimming around underneath this which I thought was kind of neat. <laughs> Becca's got the lobster gloves. She's got the tickle stick and the net. You guys are gonna catch some lobster. I... So this is a tickle stick. It's got a little bend to it. You reach behind the lobster, you goose him, tickle his bottom, and he, does, he gets freaked out by that. Walks out and you scoop him up with the net.
the perfect shell. Thank you so much. That's so That's fun. The fish were busy there today, weren't oh, they? They were amazing. so busy. Oh, that was so much fun. I would be so depressed if we had to fly back today, but we're only halfway done. I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. This was awesome. We just rinsed all the gear off in fresh water. The manatees are just gobbling it up. Look at that. <laughs> that lionfish, I think, is bigger than my mangrove snapper. That is a massive lionfish. This one's big too. Proper size. Yeah. Racing and then to see if they can cook the fish for it. You can see your bullet hole there. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, very delicious fish, but a little bit uh, toxic. If you get stung by some of the spines, it'll give you a nasty reaction. It's nice and painful. Chop his head. All right, Becca. Shall we go get cleaned up and go to dinner? Let's get cleaned up and go to dinner. Well, we've got our lobsters, a couple of the lionfish, and the yellowtail, and we're going to take it across the street here to Chef Michael's, and uh, they're going to cook it up for us. Tony Young said it was a really good place to eat, and we're excited to try it out. I feel kind of trashy that was showing up to a restaurant with a garbage bag full of fish. All right, we just dropped off a big bag full of fish at the front, and we're gonna sit down and see what they turn it into. I'm really excited. They've got tons and tons of options, but I kind of just told them, you guys do whatever you think is best, and we'll see what happens. Oh, look at this, Becca. Wow. The first was... lobsters here, look at that. That looks so good. That was good, you wanna try that? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Good. Oh, we gotta catch some more lobsters, that was good. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Really pretty. Look at that. It's a good sized lionfish. Yeah. Huh? This is the poncha train. It's a creamy creole with wow. shrimp and crawfish. Oh, okay. nice. And then this one is a Thai chili sauce. Wow. We're going to try the second lobster. That's the lobster yeah. ambassador right there. Oh, it's got key lime butter in there. <laughs> oh, you full, babe? I'm full. That was so good. Any room for dessert? Maybe. Well, guys, that was an awesome meal, and it was actually way less than I thought it was going to be. It was very affordable. If you guys want to check this out, check out Chef Michael's. I'll put a link down in the video description below. Well, good morning. It's another beautiful day. Are you ready to go out scuba diving and snorkeling some more? Oh, I'm tired though. We're so tired. We went to bed at what, 8.30, I think? Oh. That was awesome. This is left dark. Babe, there we go. It's seven in the morning. We're back here at the docks. Tony and TJ have another charter going out. So we are here with Jeff and Luke. What's up guys? This has four bands on it. And, I, and you got it rigged up for um, for what we call it, have a buoy on it. Yes, yeah, right? so we're gonna have a float line or a breakaway. That's cool. There may be some sharks around. All right, guys, we're trying something a little different today. We're out in the blue water here above a wreck, and we're gonna try to spear some pelagic species. You know, pelagic means the open water species. So we can see rainbow runners and yellow tails, maybe a wahoo or permit. I mean, there's all sorts of things possible. But because of this, we're bringing the big gun. But uh, we're gonna throw out a bunch of flashers, which look like hookless fishing lures. And we're gonna dangle those to try to track fish up from the deep. We might be throw out some bait. And we're in about 115 feet of water here, so we're not going down to the bottom. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna hang out at the top. Here we go.
Well, I dove down and I took this shot at a yellowtail and I missed him, but just the sound of my spear gun brought those bull sharks in. We're changing spots because those sharks were a little bit aggressive. One of the sharks hit my spear and just kind of to see if there was anything on there. So those are some pretty well trained sharks. We saw a lot of rainbow runners, uh, a few bar jacks and yellowtail. It was cool. Have fun, good luck. Love you, baby. Well, things went a lot smoother at this next spot. I ended up jumping in the water and immediately shooting this rainbow runner, which is a wonderful eating fish. But it was also kind of frustrating because there was this school of rainbow runners and they were there and I was trying to reload and get another one as fast as I can. And this gun takes so much time to reload. And then you miss and it's like another three to five minutes to reload. And I finally go and hit another fish and it tangles itself up in the flashers. And so I decided that maybe it would be just better if I started using my pole spear. Well, there we go. I, I picked up three rainbow runners and I figured out a secret to spear fishing. Aiming for the fish and not over the fish is really important apparently. But I, I also dove my deepest ever. I went down 55 feet and I got to see the shipwreck. It was really cool. Becca has been really funny. She kind of wants to try spear fishing, but eh, she's yeah, kind of on the fence about it. So we're going to go to a next spot here and uh, she's going to scuba dive and we're going to try to see if she could get a lionfish. And uh, I'm going to come along and just kind of kind of watch and see what happens. Your shark was all up in your business. There's Becca's lionfish. Natural born spear fisherman. Who knew? Alright, we're gonna go try another spot. Alright guys, we're here at another spot. We got some gorgeous visibility and my gorgeous wife here is gonna do some more scuba diving.
Get him in. You got a lobster. <laughs> what a great day. Yeah, just an amazing time. Happy anniversary, Becca. Happy anniversary. Special term. Uh, <laughs> That's horrible, but I don't know if I But if I'm not mistaken, that is about the uh, corner a of a spear a spear gun. That's gun. the reload. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought I would have sufficient padding down there. Yeah. Okay. I almost had a runny note, like a slight. Well, I'm excited to try out these rainbow runners. I've never eaten one before. There we go. And that's a Serta, you said? Uh, Ciro. Ciro. And the king of the jungle right there, the lionfish. Definitely got a lighter meat than the other mackerel I've had. Yeah. Let's see this guy. Oh, that is a big barracuda right there. Oh, that was cool. Got a meal or two there. Look at that. I'm anxious to try these bad boys out. Hey, Becca, do you have a good time? I had a great time. Oh, I did too. We love going with this charter. If you guys ever find yourself in the Keys, make sure to look up Forever Young Spearfishing Charters. All right, guys, we're here at Lazy Days, about a mile or two down the road, and uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna cook our catch for us. Hey, thank you. Is this nice? It's beautiful. There's a couple things you gotta get when you go to the Keys. Key lime pie, conch fritters. Look at this. That is, that is a pile of food, babe. It's a, it's a pile of food. <laughs> That one didn't taste all of it. Okay, there's a all of it. So this one. We got the fish cooked lazy day style. So it's basically panko, parmesan cheese, tomatoes, scallions, and a key lime butter on it. And one of them has a little bit of jalapeno and one of them has none. Got some coleslaw and some rice. This is so much food. I can't believe we ordered appetizers. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I am so full. And I think our donkey bag is bigger than the bag we brought in. I think we got a loaves and fishes situation here. Oh. <laughs> I am full and tired, babe. How about you? Me too. <laughs> I fall asleep and die. I can fall asleep and die. All right, guys, the sun's up and so are we. And we <laughs> are going to go get some breakfast. You ready, Becca? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Western breakfast burrito with hash Ooh. browns it looks good. That looks amazing. You got it. I got the hungry permit here. Oh, this is nice. It's gonna be hard to go back to real life. We're watching a bunch of people feed tarpon over here off the docks. I think we might have to go try that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Your... Look at this. <laughs> hey, what are you staring at? Hey, hey, move, move. Oh, he totally bit my hand. Uh, they tear. Go away. All right, Becca, you want to do it? I'm not sure now. You're you're bleeding and. Oh, that's just a, that's just a little kiss. That is a massive tarpon. Look at the size of that thing. Are you gonna go for it? Oh, he's staring at you. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> but I'm not bleeding, so it's okay. <laughs> do you want to do the last one? <laughs> if you guys want to do this, uh, the restaurant's called Robbie's, and it's just a little bit south of Isle of Murata. <laughs> Alright, guys, it's time to check out. I want to drive. Alright, let's do it. Vroom, vroom, baby. Oh, 
hope you enjoyed this video as much as me and Becca enjoyed filming it. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And check out our travel and adventure playlist for all of our amazing travel adventures. I'll put links in the video description below and links to our merchandise down below. See you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.